Hey y'all, hey y'all, Eric Johnson back again with another UGA victory against the Missouri Kittens, the Kitty Cats, the Pussy Cats, whatever you want to call them. Um, Georgia wins, the game just ended, final score 27-0, sorry about that. Uh, later, don't up on them. You know, offense, it was a solid game, they did their thing. Jake Fromm, 13 for 29 passes, 173 yards, two touchdowns. He ran the ball a couple times. I, I wasn't expecting that, but like I've been saying, like I said in my last video, I don't care if you're a pocket passer, you have the capability to run the ball when the pocket's breaking down. I don't care if you get two yards, 10 yards, a yard, just as long as you don't fumble the ball or get sacked or throw a damn interception. If you can move the ball forward by moving your legs, even if you're not the fastest person on the field, that's positive for me. Okay, running game, DeAndre Swift, 12 carries, 83 yards. Brian Herrien, 10 carries, 42 yards. Zamir White, Zeus, 6 carries, 24 yards. So we were pretty solid. Um, in the pass game, in the run game. Bad, bad, bad news is, like four of our offensive linemen got hurt or banged up. So this this was a bad time for for that to happen, man. I don't know what the hell was going on. This couldn't happen at a worse time because we got to play Auburn next week. And you know they're going to try to take full advantage of that. You know, we might get some of them back. We might not. But either way, we got to be ready to play Auburn. We got to play them at home because they was bitching about the schedule. Crying to the NCAA about, oh, what we got to play? Alabama at home, away. Then we got to play Georgia. And we got to play Georgia away. Change the schedule. We can't do that. You know, they was bitching and complaining about this, so we gotta play them at we gotta play them at their house. But I think this year, finally Kirby Smart get that damn monkey off his back and win a SEC West game. Cause Bo Nix is straight doo doo shit, Basuda, crap. Only reason that motherfucker is the starting quarterback for Auburn because his daddy won eight games for them motherfuckers in nineteen eighty eight. Should have kept Joy Gatewood. Joy Gatewood said, Y'all y'all ain't gonna use me. Y'all giving me the Justin Fields treatment like Georgia was doing last year. Transfer portal motherfuckers. I'm gone. See ya. And I won't want to be. I don't blame that kid, man. If you ain't using him in these games, knowing that he's the better quarterback that's positioned for this for this team, he, he has experience. I think he got a year or so under their offense. He could have probably he could have probably developed their offense a little bit better than Bo Nix, cause the way that kid playing, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna make it up against an elite defense like Georgia. The way the way the defense were playing tonight. Then allow no rushing touchdowns again. Ninth week in a row. The only team ain't allowed no rushing touchdowns this this season. You know, defense played out of their mind. Going eight shit crazy. Oh yeah, I ain't even tell y'all the um Receiving stats. Lawrence Cages, six carries, 93 yards. He was a, he got a little bit banged up or something. I don't know if it's a form of injury getting him trouble. I'm trying to get some more updates on that. Lawrence Cages, George Pickens, five five catches, 67 yards. Hot Rod got 13 points off him. Four for five field goals. He missed one, but... He came through the clutches. I would have liked to see those field goals be turned into the touchdowns when we was at like the in the red zone. You know, Missouri was giving us a little bit of trouble with the with the run game. Like I was like I've been saying when when deep, when certain defenses expect us to run, I think I think we should be doing a QB draws with Jake Fromm because they don't expect him to run, man. That, that we'll really catch them off. We'll really catch them off balance doing that. You know, 
But this is another victory for the Georgia Bulldogs. You know, one no doubt about that. I mean, come on, Missouri ain't. Missouri didn't have their quarterback in there. Man, he he's out with an injury. I forgot what that QB's name that was playing for them for Missouri, but he wasn't the answer. You know, they couldn't really get nothing going on in the run game. You know, probably not with passes. I couldn't. I couldn't really look at the game because I was trying to look at it on YouTube and shit. Then you know how YouTube be with these little copyrights and shit. But shit, I was looking at the I was looking at the LSU Alabama game earlier, and they weren't fucking with the live stream. So I don't know what the hell going on. I'm trying to see if um, South Carolina can come back from a ass whooping that App State's giving them, or see if App State's choked themselves away from a victory. Um, if Will must help lose this game, or if he hasn't lost the game already, his services no longer need to be in South, in South Carolina because the way Helensky, that quarterback, is playing, and you letting the defense like App Appalachian State just roll grade y'all, you ought to be ashamed yourself, man. There's no excuse for that. Y'all are way better than App State. Even though App State is bowl eligible for a bowl game, Y'all should have no problems beating them. And I'm trying to see what's going on in this Tennessee-Kentucky game. I think Tennessee, yep, they trying to come back and do something with Guantanamo Bay. Unless he slip on a damn banana pill and fuck up and lose the game to Kentucky. But um, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to see if Will Muschamp going to get his tongue cut out by these fans or these, coach, or these other people around the college football Feel whatever I'm trying to say. Shit. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that LSU Alabama game? I think Joe Burrow will get that. Get that Heisman, if not Justin Fields. You count the defensive end out for Ohio State. Heard he was um, heard he was caught taking money or something, getting a loan for probably one of these Ohio State boosters. That's how they probably got him to come play for Ohio State. Sliding him a little bit of money, you know. With these players getting paid in, like, California and shit, what's, what's not to say that these certain players from different states want to go play in California and stuff? The NCAA need to get this under under under, 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 under control, you know, with trying to pay these students and stuff. I don't mind them getting paid, but it need to be rules and regulations when you do this shit, you know, especially when it comes to like recruiting. Cause you know how these coaches are. Look what look what happened to Ole Miss. Ole Miss was just buying players like they was buying strippers out the club, man. And still can win shit. How you buying players and you can't win nothing? But we ain't talking about them dirty rebels. Georgia Bulldogs win twenty seven to zero. Whoop that ass on them cats. Um, we getting ready to play Auburn next week. You know, getting ready to whoop their ass, see what Bo Nix do do face ass do. Um, get ready to put Gus Matt Zone back in a coma when we whoop that ass again like we did in the SEC championship game. We ain't gonna slip on a banana peel this year, like y'all got us in twenty seventeen when y'all was bragging about being Georgia and Alabama and shit. But we'll see how we do next week. If I get some more updates on our offensive linemen that got injured, I'll do another video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Donate if you can, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.